Before we get up out of here, there is something as the three uh, black people on this pod. <laughs> Yeah. You about no. to trigger me? Uh-oh. No, I'm not going to trigger you. Yo, you about to trigger me? I just want y'all to hear I've something. I've been through a lot, nigga. I'm here I for know. It. I'm here Just for listen it. to this. This is Fresh and Fit. Um, I don't even know these niggas' names. Myron. Fucking retards. Okay. Um, black people need to just stop being lazy. We're, you're not going to get a Whoa. fucking handout. Okay? We're not going to give you your fucking reparations. Whoa. Because guess who's going to have to pay for that shit? The middle class is going to have to pay for it. Yes. Now, let's keep it a thousand. Damn. You niggas get your reparations. What you going to do with it? You going to buy a bunch of some Jordans? Some fucking drugs, what? some weed. They're gonna bust the weed. Nigga? Yeah. Yo, nigga. Yeah. What good, my, you gotta buy, my, my you gotta buy some Fendi. You gotta buy what? some bullshit. And he's he saying this to a black nigga right next to him. Yeah, yeah. Black you niggas too, right? Spend the money and invest. Go back to jail. Oh. Majority are gonna do criminal shit. Oh my god. 100%. Come on, man. Let's keep it a million. Let's keep it rim. all the way a million. Buy some rims. He's triggering. Oh yeah. Look at that shit spin, nigga. Yeah. Oh my god. It's stupid, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas, man. Nigga shit, man. Please stop saying nigga. I could go fucking do shit with it. I tried being a nigga for like. What? Six months? That shit retarded, nigga. But you're black. Retarded, what are you bro. talking yeah, about? Big monkey chains and yeah. all that. Try that shit, nigga. That shit retarded. <laughs> monkey chains? I tried to assimilate oh. to these fuck niggas, man. That shit was ass, dog. Yo, yo, oh, yo, yo. Nigga, okay. I know I can't speak. Niggas be like, what's good, bro? Yo, let's go, nigga. I was like, what'd you say? Oh. <laughs> you high on lean and shit. Oh, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you want some? I'm like, <laughs> no. Niggas be mumbling and shit. Bro. Yeah. Alex. Hey, man. <sighs> Anyhow, uh, it, it was fun. Hey, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, what? Yo, the, the hard ER. Alex! Mo- mo- monkey chains? This is the definition of self hate, bro. I, I don't even know where I, like. This is the definition of self hate. <sighs> Absolutely. Like, what was. It? Yeah, go ahead. No, continue. What, what, what were they referencing? Were they talking about how Kamala Harris came out and said she'd give a million dollars to black entrepreneurs? Recently? I think so. He started the conversation basing it off this clip. He talked about reparations. That's one of the things that black people, the black community, or just a conversation in general, a, a social construct conversation has been brought about, mm-hmm. which is reparations oh. for people who have had a disadvantage in life. Mm-hmm. It is a known fact that most <clears throat> black Americans, all of us, have had a disadvantage in this country. For sure. for sure. And so the conversation of reparations is something that has come up because people are like, hey, we should get it. We deserve it now. However you feel about that, that's on you. Mm-hmm. But Bro. it's undeniable to look at people's situation, black people's situation, and say, hey, we've been at a disadvantage from the inception of this country being built. For sure. Black people are not monolithic. <clears throat> it sounds like somebody really used to bully him back in the day <laughs> or bully the both of them. Yeah. And now they have to carry that inside of them and they have this very skewed perspective of how black people are because i know black doctors Mm -hmm. i know black entrepreneurs i know black scientists i know black people who when given the opportunity they thrive so unfortunately this does just sound as like self-hate and just a lot of projection you know um i think they hate themselves like i think these are both brown skin dark skin men correct yeah. Mm-hmm. This is I, I got nothing for this man, and that's just nasty behavior because <sighs> it's the type of shit they would never say to a dude's face, though. And they may, <laughs> and I want to say the yeah, reason they yeah. may say it because based on I, I believe his name is Myron. Yep. Um, I'm not sure his ethnicity. I Me think that's either. been in question. Yeah. He doesn't. He he he's obviously brown skin, dark skin, brown skin, whatever. Weirdo. But I'm not <laughs> exactly sure what it is he identifies as. Right. Um, but his co-host is obviously a black person. Yeah. For sure. Um, I'm not sure where neither one of these gentlemen are from, but watching and coming across that content for a while, and they do have a very incel-fueled base. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah this is incel right? talk, mm-hmm. for sure. This is, you know, <laughs> I don't even know how to get it. Just neither. alpha, beta, all that bullshit. Big like beta The energy. shit, like, it, it's just weird vibes over there. I know yeah. they've been suspended from certain platforms i know they demonetize all of these things right so the only reason why i even bring this to our podcast is because again the beginning of this clip said anything about reparations and i don't i I haven't really given it any thought on what i feel about reparations but i but but i do know (laughs) but i do know personally that black people have been and are at a disadvantage when it comes to the infrastructure, the knowledge, the financial literacy, 
um, the credit of yes. this country. Absolutely. Yeah. And so for that reason <clears throat> alone, whether you feel, whether he feels like back black people should spend money on rim, whatever he said, whatever stereotypes he tried to play into, Widow. it's none of his concern to where those reparations come from. I think he might be referencing during the pandemic when you know, we got the the the, the money stimmies. that stimmies. The, the, the stimmies, and then niggas are scamming. Everybody and flocked to the yams. Yeah, that might be what he's talking about. But listen, listen, listen. <clears throat> if it was me, right? If I was voted for president, right? I, obviously, I don't know what goes into the whole thing or what type of uh, restraints that yeah. someone in that seat has. But if I were giving out reparations, there would have to be like a system in place, more so of like education, because. It's not that you can't give everybody money, whether you're black, white, brown, or yellow. You just got to be educated. So if you don't know what you're going to do with it, or if you have no plan, then you're going to plan to fail. Like, you, you know, you're going to buy frivolous things. You're going to buy things that make no sense. It's not going to work in your favor. And at the end of the day, like, you're just going to mismanage it. But if there was a plan or, hey, like, like say if you guys, say if I was white, right? And I became president. So and I was white, like, man. you know what I mean? <laughs> What's up, uh, what's up, my, man? What's up, my, you can't say my dude. You're white. Yeah, <laughs> nah, you know what they say. Call me, dude. Hey, brother. Hey, hey bro. Hey, hey brother. Hey, nah, it's brother. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, dude. Br dude. Brother. Hey, hey brother. Dude. So I would say, hey, like, <laughs> I got a million for you. I got a million for you, right? Right. Until you pass or until you graduate college, um, or, you know, if you want to tap into some of that to mm -hmm. pay for college, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, put an incentive behind that. Hey, you'll, you'll get more. Mm -hmm. But just as long as there's a plan, or a, a strategic system in place to like, hey, like, oh, I don't want to give you this so that it becomes to your, so to you your become, detriment. Oh, uh, I see what you. You know what I mean? Am I wrong for saying that? I don't think you're wrong. I just, I, it just, just sounds like more slavery. Like, so? like the person who is itch, issuing out reparations. To your point, we don't know if this will ever happen mm -hmm. or how it would go down. Nah, put yourself in the seat. You president, what you doing? If I'm president, yeah. I can't tell you what to do with your money. It goes back to how this country was even started right like okay. a black person being three-fifths of a man mm -hmm. and the other white people etc being them home cells being able to do whatever it is that they want to For do sure. with yeah. no restrictions yeah that's kind of where my head goes with this right like if they ever wanted to give out reparations one day you're just gonna have to close your eyes and do it you know you know will there be I some people that spend it frivolously mm -hmm. i'm sure will there be some people that take it seriously i'm confident right but a lot of times people don't realize that you're the oppressor. So as the oppressor, you still can't continue to think you know what's best for me when you oppress me. So I'm, you know I'm saying I would be an oppressor for putting a system in place before the person gets. The no, money. you would be an oppressor because of history by by putting a system in place like, hey, like this is the goal to meet, so you can get this. That's yes, yeah, because you're setting it. You see, what I'm gonna. I don't have to set it like, hey, like you gotta, you gotta graduate from Harvard. It's like, yo, just graduate any college. I feel you. You're still setting it because there are black people here that felt like this country was built on their backs. For sure, it was when yeah. there was nothing here, right? Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a college, there wasn't a school to go to, etc. Right? Yeah. Like, or, or even let's let's take college out. Okay. Right. And yeah. again, I did say you can use some of that, um, some of that money beforehand to pay for the college. But let's say that's out of the picture. Yeah. There's got to be a, a, some type of education system because, yo, bro, we see all the time. People get money. They don't know how to, how to make it work for themselves, and you just wind up not doing the best. And some, some people die, you know what I mean? It's Buy life. things that, that they don't need. Yeah. So, like, I think it would be irresponsible of the government to give out reparations to a certain extent without there being some type of guideline. And I, I'm not saying... Raise the roof, uh, raise the the standard through the roof, but like there's got to be something. If you, if you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna give you whatever amount of dollars, whatever amount of reparations, because you're a black American, mm -hmm. right? Strictly because you're black, mm -hmm. you can't then tell me what I can and can't do That's with that thing. money because yeah. you haven't made it a mandated effort to give me the proper knowledge and education right. to do Tools. whatever it is that you grant me that money. So whatever I decide to do with whatever I receive is on me. Now, them not understanding the fact that there are just people who are born 
at a disadvantage mm-hmm. because that's what they're speaking. They're speaking to the ignorance and they're speaking to the the people, the minorities who don't have a family structure, who may not come from a two parent household, who may not come from a one parent household who just has the knowledge. Facts. Because that's another thing. There could be just a one parent in the household who just happens to overcompensate for there not being two parents, mm-hmm. right? Like. Mm-hmm. There is a lot that you can tell they're speaking from privilege. You can tell they're speaking from their life experience. Mm -hmm. Cool. Your life experience is all on you. But you can't discount the fact that the inception of this country in particular was created and built off the the backs of black people. And we have never been acknowledged. We have never been compensated. Um, and so for those who ask for reparations, okay. I don't think it's, it's, it's unfair to ask for. And I don't think it's something that should be taken lightly. Now, my opinion on do I agree or disagree? I think that's a completely different conversation. But for these two men who would be considered black, because how I identify privileged somebody that's black. black you I would consider them privileged black. Privileged black. Okay. They got a platform. Obviously, they're making money. So mm-hmm. the, the the seat that they're speaking from is not of an impoverished but one of them we myron i don't know if he's even black i don't know, I don't know if he identifies I don't know as if black he i don't know i don't what know if he he i'm about to look it up right he, now he may I don't be know what that name and, and 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 his features say i could be a little bit different nigga you know, like i don't know <laughs> what he say identifies nigga. as right? say like, nigga, yeah. but i do know <laughs> if he were to get stopped if he were to walk into the 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 the, the fucking midwest of this country and walk into a random bar in in fucking south dakota they're gonna look at him and they're not gonna say hey man you're fucking egyptian (laughs) hey man you're middle eastern hey man you're latino hey man you're caribbean no they're gonna look at you and say you're black but i think they just have been protected and shielded by whatever their experience has been and it's allowed them to earn a certain amount of ignorance. Oh, for and this sure. is why we get what it is that we get. So I, the only reason why I wanted to highlight that, because there is a lot of fuck niggas, a lot of retail. Weirdos. Like, oh, wait, mm. I almost said the word. You almost went there. You, you, you held yourself. There's a lot of people who are uneducated <laughs> and just stupid. Absolutely. And I think these two brothers, I think they have a lot of potential because you can't build that type of platform without having some type of intelligence. So they are intelligent in their own right. And I'm not as familiar with them, but I do think there's a lot of instances where they come off as just being dumb and uninformed and unaware and self-hatred y'all niggas hate yourself yes y'all niggas hate black women y'all niggas hate black men y'all niggas are incels y'all niggas are fucking weird